we've created the first formation and you can see guys that it is uh, really not that hard to uh, model especially stratified deposits in uh, GeoModeler so now let's move on and show you guys how am I going to create the second formation in here and I think it's uh, better to move to something else and show you the final result uh, other than keep on doing the same thing on different videos and making this uh, training uh, longer and longer so uh, the same thing if we move to the uh, this one uh, all we have to do is to uh, go and digitize this one like this but this time we're going to cross this and let's see if Geomodeler is going to get the idea or not. So um, we tell the software that this is actually the uh, formation F5 uh, and associated and keep it like that orthogonal. Uh, also make sure that the Oro is in this direction, uh, always facing the uh, topography, not the other direction. If it's uh, done wrong, all you have to do is to right click and go to edit and you can uh, do the re reverse in here or what you can do is start digitizing from the other side to get it the right way. So, and now we can see that this one goes here and then goes up. Okay, so uh, we can do that let's go and if you do right click you will delete the last point that you've digitized we're going to uh, go there and continue this one and it's not going to be really perfect we are just uh, showing you guys here how things are done see now we've done it the wrong way so what we can do is to right click edit and then go to uh, reverse uh, normal this time and edit that and you can see that the direction is actually flipped now we move to the second uh, one and we are going to digitize uh, this formation Or maybe here is something that we can do. So let's digitize that one associated and click on OK. And what we can do is maybe we can digitize other formations. Let's see if Geomodeler is going to uh, recognize all of them at once or not. So this one is the green one, which is this one associated and click on OK, move in. And OK, we can just add this one here and let's go and that's that okay and we can go and add maybe uh, this one really quickly okay you can see that we have two in here so we'll move there and this one and move down here and that's the yellow formation which is the top uh, the top one associated create and yeah we've got a couple of them here let's move maybe to uh, this one and we can do the same thing here we can uh, digitize the bottom of these formations okay that's the top one which is F6 let's make sure that it's F6 associated create and close let's add uh, one more which is the green one and let's see if Geomodeler is actually going to detect uh, all of them at once or not so that's uh, that that's the green one I guess associated and create close Okay, so I know that some of you are getting bored right now. Let's go and project these. Click on OK. And, but just let's do that once uh, more. Let's go to this one. This is actually going to be the pinky one. Five. OK. 
and this is actually going to be the uh, okay that's the F uh, F2 associated create and we can go for the green one maybe here okay the green here here and here that's the green one and I think that's enough let's just uh, discover what we've done so far and see if we can fix few things now uh, go to compute and you can see that we have most of the formations here uh, okay the number four uh, not there because we haven't digitized anything so let's go and digitize the uh, formation number four here at least once okay so uh, we tell Gmodeler that that's the F4 create okay maybe we can go and uh, not here maybe uh, yeah here we can go and digitize this uh, one here that's F4 associated create and click on OK and now Geomodeler is going to detect that because we have some data select everything click on OK and now that's brand new uh, uh, model now let's go to the uh, visualization leave that to be medium so high which means higher resolution and take more time we can go for surfaces to visualize them really quickly and see only the uh, surfaces but we can go and create the volumes right away because our model is not actually that uh, complicated okay we're computing right now okay and there you go see this is how it looks it's getting complicated this is our model so let's change the view from uh, that to shading let's go to shading in here let's go to shading and this one is shading and shading here already and that one is cool now this is the model pretty complicated and really quickly so let's view the uh, the lines that uh, we can view all of them right now and you can see that it's pretty accurate you can see that Geomodeler actually have done some really really great job in creating the model so uh, okay so it's just amazing this is how our model is going to look like and yeah now let's plot that model in uh, let's see uh, our geological map how our geological map looks like and let's go to uh, not here sorry we go to here and now want to see the fills and click on OK this is how it looks like from the top view because we have that formations let's hide the uh, the top because we have that uh, F6, I believe, formation in here that covering everything except for this place in here. So this is how the geological map would look like if we want to rely on Geomodeler to create that geological map. Let's maybe go to uh, uh, one of these here. And if you want to see the fill, you can uh, click on this one to view the fill. And this is how the model looks like. And you can see that it's pretty complicated but we were able to create this model in no time so I hope you uh, liked it so let's move to something else right now